Hi everybody, my name is Armine Bazikian from Bazikian Law Group and today I wanted to speak to you about a type of ownership in property. So most people are unaware of exactly how they hold ownership in their property. Um, usually what will happen is when they're purchasing their property, they'll select a box in the escrow instructions letting the escrow agent know how to title the property that they're buying and what method they're owning the property. And depending on what you select, uh, this could affect your legal rights significantly and also put you at a tax advantage. So this video is going to be a three-part series. Uh, this, is, this will be the first video of a three-part series where we're going to discuss the various different types of property ownerships. So this particular video we're going to be discussing joint tenancy which is one of the most common methods of holding property in California. And so what is joint tenancy? Joint tenancy is when two or more people own property together in equal yet undivided shares. So there's always a requirement that there be at least two people that own the property. Um, and in a joint tenancy, by operation of law, there is something called a right of survivorship, meaning that when one person passes away, that person's share of the property automatically goes to the surviving individual by operation of law. And this is again called a right of survivorship. And this happens without the need to go to probate court or involve the court system at all. It's simply a document that you file with the county recorder's office letting them know that the individual has passed away and the property goes to the person that survives them. So it's, it's a very common method for this reason alone uh, because of the probate avoidance. However, uh, there are certain tax disadvantages when there are couples who own property in joint tenancy. So for example, if a married couple owns property in joint tenancy, and by the way, this is very, very common and we see this all the time, um, and, and a lot of times married couples will do this because they want the probate avoidance feature, uh, because they don't want to create a will or trust thinking, if I die, it automatically goes to you. However, by taking title and joint tenancy as a married couple, there are certain tax advantages that you're completely missing out on like the step up in basis and we've actually done previous videos on the step up in basis so i will link it down below if you want to watch a more detailed video on what a step up in basis is um, but we won't get into it because it's a rather complicated matter but it's a great tax advantage and you lose out on that on this tax advantage if you hold your property as a married couple in joint tenancy um, so this is a very common method and a lot of times people will actually choose this method because of the probate avoidance as i mentioned before and a lot of times parents will choose this method as a way of passing property from one generation to another without creating a will. So I will give you an example. Let's say uh, mom is, you know, the husband is deceased, mom is around, and she decides to add her daughter and her son onto her property with her as joint tenants. They take title as joint tenants, um, understanding that if one passes away, it goes to the other. And her hope is that when she passes away, the property will automatically be transferred uh, from her and to the remaining people that are surviving, meaning the other joint tenants, her son and her daughter. There's it's, it's great because it avoids probate, obviously, which is the point of doing it this way, but there are a ton of disadvantages that mom probably didn't even fathom or didn't even think of when doing this. Um, so let's go through them one by one. So the first one is liability exposure. By adding your children or somebody else on your property, uh, what you're doing is you're, you're exposing yourself to their creditors. So if they have debts out there and people collecting on their debts and coming after them, they're going to come after your property. So a lot of times uh, parents are scared to put their younger uh, children on the property with them, you know, in the fear that if their son or daughter gets into a car accident and there's a liability issue, then it'll attach to the property and open up a can of worms for them. The second disadvantage is that by selecting your daughter and your son as joint tenant with you, what you're saying is that the last person standing takes the property, meaning if your son had children of his own, you have grandkids, and your son passed away before you and then you died, the property would go to your daughter 100%, meaning if you wanted your grandchildren to take a share in that property, joint tenancy doesn't accomplish this uh, goal of yours. And there are also gift tax advantages, meaning if you're going to gift a portion of your property to your son or daughter while you're living and bring them on as joint tenants, there are or may be uh, 
gift tax consequences for you in this method. So, um, and 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 the I I think the worst or disadvantage, the worst disadvantage in this scenario is that by bringing in other people as owners with you, they have legal rights to the property, meaning they can sell a portion of the property. They have a right to manage it and do whatever you can do with the property, mortgage it out and whatever it is. So there must be a level of trust when doing this. These are just some of the disadvantages um, when people try to utilize joint tenancy as a uh, substitute to actually creating a will. Um, so there, there's a ton of other things that we can discuss, but for brevity's sake, we're gonna keep it short in this video. If you'd like to contact our office, we can let you know exactly how you hold title to your property and give you a little bit more detail as far as uh, what your particular situation is. And depending on your particular situation and how you hold property uh, rights, there are going to be different legal rights and different tax consequences. So make sure you make the right selection. Uh, feel free to contact our office for a free consultation and we'd be happy to sit down and talk to you about your particular needs.